Joining me is Thaddeus Moss, another four catches on the night, just under 70 yards. And uh, I mean, this LSU offense, when you keep waiting for a hiccup, there just is none. Nah, we just, um, I mean, that's just a testament to this offense. We chop wood every possession, we chop wood every, every week, and we just keep building on it week after week. It seems it's really impressive from the outside because, you know, a lot of times these kinds of games, coming off the backs of some big games at home, it's easy, you could look over it, but it just it seems like it's a veteran group that just doesn't do that. No, it is. Uh, I think we started off a little slow, uh, but once we, got, once we got things rolling, we, um, you know, we picked it up and hit it from there. But uh, we definitely have a veteran group. Uh, I like to say that we have a whole offense full of pros. We know how to get the job done um, and act accordingly. I know there's still some, some stats to gain on the year, but I want you to just kind of give a comment on this. First team in SEC history to have a 4,000-yard passer, two 1,000-yard receivers, and a 1,000-yard rusher. First in the history of the SEC. That's Steve Spurrier and all those high-flying offenses of the 90s. I mean, LSU fans, just are, they're, they're just in bliss right now. Right. No, um, I mean, it's just a testament to, this, to the, all the work that we've put in. You know, we're finally reaping the benefits of the, you know, the, the work that we've put in. Uh, the coaches have done a great job this whole uh, season, putting putting us in great positions, putting Joe in great positions with the ball, um, and putting our receivers in great positions. Uh, but now I don't know. That's crazy. Um, you know, it's just a testament to all the work that we put in in the off season. It's finally coming to show. Been on the road the last couple of games. What was it like to be back here in Tiger Stadium? And when you're out there on the field and doing your thing, were you able to kind of take in the the big shack uh, sh shack on the sidelines and get the big ovation? Well, first. Um, I said we saw Shaq at practice. I think Thursday or I don't know yesterday or for Thursday or something. Every like almost practice shut down. Everybody was looking <laughs> at Shaq. But um, it felt good to be back home. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was sitting there telling teammates on the field. I was like, man. I told my coach. I was like, it feels so good to be back here. You know, feels like it's been two months since we played here. But it, it always feels good to go down the Tiger Walk and have fans screaming for you. You know, not booing you, but cheering and screaming for you. I know you couldn't go last night, but the diesel was DJing at Fred's, so <laughs> I had to go for you. He did a good job. Uh, last. Thing. Got a final home game of the year coming up against AM. Just some thoughts. Uh, I know you we owe them a little bit. Yeah, I know we own, <laughs> we own for last year. Uh, we got to finish the season out strong. Um, you know, and it's the most important game because it's the next game. So we'll uh, get, in, get in and watch film on Monday and, you know, have another week of preparation like we've been doing and just knock it out. All right. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. All right, Thaddeus Moss, let's go back to the studio.